What is up, guys? It's Little Gamers Arcade here today, and today we are going to be doing uh the my top five. Uh, well, actually, let me restart. Please leave a like, subscribe, and um uh, enjoy the video. Uh, these are Little Gamers uh Arcade top five picks for two game up picks for 2016. Uh, for for um for the Number five, no, for number, yeah, no, for, we're counting down for five. So number five is Halo Guard, Halo 5 Guardians, which I'm not, not going to give a lot away, but Halo 5 Guardians is number five. Why I picked it for number five was it was kind of a little bit confusing. Like, you actually, in Halo 2, you thought Locke died, and... Uh, it kind of is, like, confusing because there's blue team and red team. And, yeah, I don't want to give that much away, but it's, it's really good. I have a um, Halo 5, uh, but I don't want to give a lot away. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of just confusing. So, yeah, that's why I picked it for number 5. Uh, number 5. Four, I am going with Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens for PS4, Lego Star Wars. It's for PS4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. Uh, I picked Lego Star Wars for number four was because I not that much people like... Some people like Star Wars, but not that much people care for Star Wars and not a lot of people aren't that much uh, b big fans of um Lego so that's why I picked it for number four to me I actually think Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens is pretty cool but we have to give that to number four so yeah uh going on for going on for number for number uh three is Doom, which Doom is pretty cool. Uh, Doom is like a horror, well not a horror game, but like a kind of scary game for some people. Uh, it's basically about these monsters that you're trying to fight. I don't have this game, but I know what Doom is about, and it's basically you're just trying to um fight monsters. Uh, I picked it for number uh. Three because I didn't really I thought it was um like I kind of thought that the armor was kind of like um more like Halo-y armor and the weapons were kind of like uh and kind of like the same weapons in Call of Duty except more like technology and stuff although some people don't prefer like really scary games I really actually think this game is really cool and I really think I want I really want it but yeah, I had to put this at number um three because it was really cool. Um, num number uh number uh no number um five was I have to search it up since I didn't download it onto my photos it's watchdogs two which is pretty cool all right i have to admit it it's really cool i it's coming it's coming out like two, november um second 2016 uh this game is really cool um i'm gonna show you a picture of it this thing is really cool it's watchdogs too. Uh, so it's, you guys know about Watch. If you guys have played Watch Dogs, um, one, it's about this guy and some friends that uh go around the city hacking stuff and yeah, a bunch of that stuff and crap. And then after that, um, they are in San Francisco, basically with these other two hacker hackers. Uh, I have not played Watch Dogs one, but Watch Dogs 2, I had to pick for a number, for
expert too because I really thought it was really it sounded really cool and um it really is cool because it's like a it, I've heard people say it's a hacking game so I would have to pick it as number two and you have go around and do a stuff all right you guys already know so yeah I can't wait to see this game uh that's why I had to pick it at number two um now we are in number one is one of my favorite games of oh well mo almost of my all time it is Gears of War 4, I had to pick for number one. Now, this game is not sold separately. Uh, this game, you have to get it in the, uh, like, if you get it on the PS, well, it's only for the Xbox, Xbox One. But, um, uh, this game is probably one of my, um, favorite games of all times. It's Gears of War 4. Uh, it's mature, but it's, um, really glory. So I wouldn't recommend people that don't like horror games playing this. This game is like beast. Like I seen the trailer for it. If you guys haven't seen the trailer, um go on my um watch my Gears of War 4 trailer. It is not that long. It's like probably like a minute and 50 something seconds, I think. I don't know. I think I know it's a minute, I think, or 2 minutes. But yeah, I had to pick this as number 4 because uh I mean, it doesn't have Marcus in it, but it has, like, JDF, um, his son, and it basically is just, um, him, and he's fighting Locust and all these new creatures in Gears of War, um, 4, which, the wretches and the grunts, well, not grunts, but, um, Locust and all this stuff, yeah, I had to pick this at number four, I mean, number one, because it was, um, just so, it was really good. Um, you can only, you can pre-order this, you can not get, not get this, um, in just like a regular plain old pack. You have to get the, um, gold edition pack, which is like basically like, uh, Basically, I think it's like you get like DLC maps with it. Uh, I have looked on um, the Xbox Store and Amazon, and this game is pretty expensive. It's actually ninety nine dollars plus tax. That could probably end up to like a hundred something dollars. This game is like I don't know. This game is like the probably the most expensive game I've ever seen. Um, yeah, this game is, like, really expensive. Uh, yeah, JD, so basically, let me tell you a story. So, basically, JDF and his friends are trying to escape this, um, COG school, which is, um, basically, he's trying to escape, and they run into locusts and all these different other creatures, I'm pretty sure, and all they do is just, um, fight these creatures, and they're trying to get to Marcus, and, well, JDF is trying to lead his group all the way to, um, Marcus's dad, I'm pretty sh sure, but I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure, but I think, yeah, he's, um, doing it, and he has to fight these creatures on the way, and, yeah, that's basically it, and I think maybe, um, maybe, uh, what that girl's name in Gears of War 3 is, uh, the cog girl, I think she's, um, yeah, Anya, I think Anya is in there, but after Gears of War 3, Anya, um, married Marcus Phoenix, Phoenix, and after that, uh, they had a kid named JDF, and, yeah, He's trying to fight, fight, fight his way through Locust to find his dad, I think. And, yeah, that's where we leave it off. I had to pick this as number one. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe, and, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Peace.